G'day, I'm Clive and welcome to CDP Outdoors. Today we're heading down to the Hewitt Shelter on the Bibbleman Trap to have a look around. The Hewitt Shelter is the first shelter on the Bilbon Trek if you're heading north to south. It's a fairly uh, regular visited one. We've been so close to the CBD and the access is quite easy. If you're looking at just coming to do a test of your gear, you want to see what it's like actually on the Bilbon Trek overnight. This one is one of the popular ones that people visit. Uh, if you're able to, your better time is in the midweek because as you can imagine weekends it can get very busy. Heading into Hewitt Shelter, going north to south, you'll actually see the shelter on your right hand side as you're coming down. The steps are built into the track, but the actual spur trail into the shelter is just after. So don't panic thinking that you've missed the turning into the Hewitt Shelter, you haven't. But save a little bit of energy because it's steep going up into the shelter. Harris Shelter, this is your view. Just beautiful. And you come up just there. And here's your shelter. Water tank on the left, rain water tank on the right. It's actually big enough for 12 people to sleep in. As you can see there you've got bunk beds, top and bottom, and you throw out your sleep mat. So you sleep in bag and get your head down for the night. And you've got your picnic bench in the middle, which is being used today. And on this side as well, 
another set of bunk beds and as you can see the ladders are getting up there and be a bit respectful don't leave a mess they've left a whole broom and a rake clean up after yourselves and where we're just standing we've got two picnic benches out here so you've got plenty of space to sit down and enjoy the view and in the non-fire season so you can have a fire and here's your fire pit and when I say non-fire seasons I mean when it's fire season uh, for bushfires and everything and now the camp pitches there's three directions you can go first this is the right hand side let's go see what we've got up here and show you A little bit uneven these ones are, a bit bumpy, so if you're going to be pitching a tent I think you may be better off in a, a ground sheet to pitch your tent on, just to help protect the bottom of it. It's coming up the trail here. This is a nice one, I haven't come this way before. This is the furthest one. Rocks right in the middle. If you don't mind them, when well you put your tent to one side, this is your view. And let's see. And if you use a hammock, you might be a bit close to that one there. Uh, they're fairly spaced to come all the way across to that point. And I've just seen another pitch through here. Now this one's not too bad. It is a bit stony. A few stones. But again. Bit of shade. It's a fairly nice one. Let's go up this way now. Yeah, I think these need a little bit of a care. Because they're all rocky and even. This one, not too bad. A good sleep mat, not going to feel much there. Another one over there from this distance looks pretty decent. And this one here, which is just behind the shelter, I think we've used we've got a track coming off that now. That's not too bad, that one. And now we're going to the upper part, the upper section, a bit further up the hill. And we're going past the dunny. Yeah, that's our door toilet. And now if you haven't seen any of my videos, or didn't know anything about them, these are drop toilets. Composting. So you only put it down there, a normal toilet roll. Baby wipes is a no-no, because that doesn't compost. Don't put any chemicals down there, because that stops the composting happening. And it's going to open. There's your loo. And if you want in the morning, there's your loo with a view. How beautiful. Now with the composting, as long as you don't ruin the composting and do the right thing, these toilets don't smell. Let's make sure we lock it again. But always remember to put the lid down so the wildlife doesn't jump up in there and fall in and yeah, we, we don't want to lose anybody that way. Uh, it's coming up the hill. So I want to check one of the pictures that I normally use with the hack, but this one fairly decent. Kick a couple of stones off. And that one actually goes up to the one I normally use, so 
I'm glad I only spoke to it. Okay, before we get there, another fairly nice one there. And this is the one I normally hang my hammock on. Between that tree and the bigger tree there. And this is probably big enough for two, maybe even three tents. But what did upset me, this is a nice way of putting it, there used to be a third tree here, but some idiot attacked it with an axe. And they've been bringing fires up, or making fires up on these upper pitches, so they've had to put signs up saying no fires. You have to use the firing that I showed you down the bottom by the shelter. But not everyone's smart enough to understand that. Especially in the Australian bush where one spark could have the whole place alight. And let's keep walking up here. There's another nice little pitch there. That's a nice one. Carry on around here. This nice little secluded one. It's like in a circle or a ring of trees, this one. It's a really nice one, this. You can tell by all the stones. It's all compacted down, so you are going to need a fairly comfortable sleep mat. It's going to be the same on most of the pitches north of the track. What's down here? Does it take us to Indigo? We'll find out. Uh, doesn't look like it. Oh, looks like it may. Let's go explore, shall we? Oh, yep. We've found another one. Oh, I know, there's a picnic bench and fire spot over here. But there's another pitch for your tent. Very decent one. Go down. And it's even more. Quite surprised at this one. I've just some, seen something I hadn't seen before. Uh, there's another pitch and see what I mean about people with no brains they're firing there uh, you're not supposed to be or have fires away from the actual firings provided and there's a fairly decent pitch up there too probably big enough to squeeze two shelters on there two shelters two tents uh, there's another one fairly decent Again, you could probably squeeze two two-man tents on here. When I say a tent, I mean a two-man tent. All comfortable for one two-man tent. And what I do like is this. It's actually, I don't know if you can see it yet. They've brought another fire ring and picnic bench down here. So there's no need to make your own fire ring on the pitch part for your tent. That beautiful view. Now I like that idea using that there, the picnic bench, because the shelter is that way, it's that way. Probably 10, 20, 30, 25 metres away. So you don't all have to be on top of each other. Yeah, I like that. Right. I'll come and uh, try to pitch down this end, I'm only going to the one at the top. 
I'll have to come back and give this one a go down the bottom. And here we are. That's where the dunny is, up the track there. The toilet. And this bit takes us back to the shelter. That's the Hewitt shelter. Uh, a few surprises for me about how many pictures there are here for your tents. And especially that new picnic area down here, the picnic bench and the fire ring. Or the fire pit to use. Not the ones people have been using up there, made of stones, which you're not supposed to be doing. Even though it's a bit of a bushcrafty thing. On the Bilbo track, no, it's frowned upon. So I hope you've enjoyed the video and look forward to the next one which I believe I'm going to attempt to get down to the Boar Creek Shelter and film that one. So I hope you've enjoyed it and you haven't subscribed yet please go down below and click on the subscribe button, click on the like button, click on the notification bell and select all and if you are already a subscriber again I thank you very much. So until next time get out there, have some fun and take care.